Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 35 of Europa Universalis 4 as Venice. We're currently at war with um, Jared, Tunisia and Morocco here, mainly because we just want to take the coast here and um, what's left of Jared just to give it to our vassal Fazan and hopefully they'll be able to do something useful with it. Uh, but in the meantime we do need to try and take some stuff away from... Uh, Morocco because we need Morocco to peace out so I can get the war score that I want uh, in fact they may actually be willing to do it now I know we don't have a hundred percent war score yet but um, what we want is we want to deal well actually if we could we take all this if we dealt with the war le leader directly no so if we just deal directly with Tunis and I want to take those you'd be willing to give all that up but nothing else that's fine we'll we'll take that from you and then we will speak to you guys, and we will full annex you. You won't take full annex. Okay, that's fine. Let's go and just uh, bring these guys back home. Looks like we had a disease outbreak there. Let's get this guy in. We don't have any uh, a siege leader over there, unfortunately. Tuscany's rivaled us. That's fine. Don't have any problems with that. Conquervalis. Um, interesting. Probably not just yet. Big problem I've got at the moment. Massive negative manpower. Um, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. We're only um, 6,000 manpower down. I was honestly expecting that was going to be a lot more, so I don't mind that too much. Uh, I think you guys can just sort of stay there then. Yeah, court fabricating. Hardly a surprise. We can't really do anything else with these guys because we're blocked by this fort here in Clemson. Uh, as soon as we've actually got Clemson, though, we should be able to get Morocco out of the war, which means we'll have a 100% war score against Jared, and we should be able to take their land from them. Shame we didn't get Seuss. It does kind of leave Tunis um, sort of fragmented, but I think we should be okay. You guys will white peace. Will you give us war reps? No, you won't. That's fine. We'll white peace you out. That gets rid of Morocco. And now all we need to do is speak to this guy and full annexation plus all of your money. Thanks. Okay. Ships. Ships are going to go um, back to Lyca. We'll mothball the heavies because we don't need them right now. You are slightly overweight. You have a couple more infantry that you shouldn't have. So we'll move you guys out put you in another province. We're doing fairly well on money. We have a national decision. Plus, pass the Blasphemy Act. Give us some more missionary strength. Increase our control in spice. Try and recover some manpower. We need to stop going to war. Uh, put that back onto trade. Start working on another conversion. Religious unity is looking really, really strong, which is good. Um, we'll take the Diplotech because now we're behind time. That gives us the trade efficiency. We still need a decent amount of admin. We're quite behind on admin tech now. Um, also, I've just moved all of my troops down here and actually forgot that I need to bring these guys home. So we will have to bring those ships back. That said, we can split off the heavies. Heavies can go to Lyca. And um, the rest of the fleet can uh, move down here. Yeah, we did gain a, a couple of transports, I think. So let's continue fabricating claims on anything we can. Definitely want to start trying to take more of Italy. Still need to try and find a way to take Gauls from Austria. And that is difficult while they are allied with France. And not to mention they're also allied with the Commonwealth. We'll have to try and find some sneaky war to be able to do that. The Catholic and Protestant leagues are looking quite, quite large here. Um... Yeah, France is actually on Austria's side. We're going to have to find something very, very interesting uh, to be able to pull off a war against Austria. But we might be able to do it. Not while they've got such powerful um, allies, though. France, how's relationships with you? Improved relations, that could be a little bit better. So let's go and do that. We've lost an advisor, which is our Diplo guy. Morale of navies we don't need. Trade efficiency. Always take that as Venice. 
Do need to build more lights. Still very low on those. So let's go ahead and um, build the lights. I know whenever I do it over here, it only ever builds like seven of them, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, what have we got then? We need to bring you guys home. Let's um, group you together. Put you on the boats. Boats can go and take you home. We will have to start reshuffling our um, forces a little bit here. We also need to start upgrading our forts. Uh, importantly, the ones over here near the Ottomans. And Vendigar. Uh, can't even afford to do Constantinople right now, which is a shame. But we definitely need to get any outdated forts done. I don't think we need the fort here in Rhodes or the one in Cyprus. Um, so I'm actually going to get rid of these. Save us some money. Uh, a couple of reasons for doing that is... Um, it makes them pretty much worthless for people who might want to siege them out. So we'll, we'll just get rid of them, basically. I would also, at some point, probably like to go to war down here. Take some more of this coastline. We could probably even start taking some of, of Saudi Arabia. We'll definitely work our way down here into Africa. We've got Venetian Egypt, of course, because this isn't connected up to Venetian Balkans. Eventually it will be, but these will still be exclaves until we manage to connect Venice up with Gauze. It doesn't even have to be Gauze. I mean, we could, if we wanted to, go around Gauze. But either way, we're going to have to attack Austria. So Cairo still has some unrest, as does Constantinople. We should be okay. Uh, we don't really need the Diplo. And I don't really want the inflation. We already have a gold mine, which is part of the problem of inflation. So let's go down and pick the rest of the troops up. Let's go back to making our tidy little 24 stacks. So we want to just get rid of a few of the infantry. Put you in Trevisio. Try and regain enough... Uh, oh, another advisor. Just constantly people dying. Uh, military... Again, we're quite ahead in military. Uh, we could just go for a rank 1 discipline guy. We don't really need to have a uh, high rank guy. As we don't need the points, I think I'm just not going to bother with one for the time being. We will probably take another... Actually, no, we do want to take another military group, don't we? So let's go ahead. And we will take the... Let's just take the Discipline guy for now, just so that we're making a little bit. It's going to take us a while to get our admin up high enough. We've done all of our cores, though, which is good. But, you know, Venice is looking quite big. We've got a we've got a fair, decent amount of land now. And we've got a lot of, a lot of claims on stuff as well. Uh, speaking of claims, we should carry on getting claims where we can. Uh, what would we like to do? Maybe get Umbria. I mean, obviously, coastal stuff is better, but chopping countries in half also works really well. Lose five Republican tradition to increase the power of the traders by 15. Yeah, they're not getting an awful lot, though, are they? But we'll try it. Yeah, it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. I think the guilds are always going to be in power. I don't think there's an awful lot that I can do about that. So, Palmer's got the right castle, as does Mantua. Some of these ones really do need upgrading. Serbia, Hum. Uh, the next one is probably going to be Hindavendigar. No, Hindavendigar doesn't have one. It's Constantinople that we need to do. Can't afford to do it, though, which is the problem. We could also try and have a look and see if we could get ourselves any... Let's just have a look here. Invest in the technology. That's going to be admin. Yeah, we need to do that. Gives us a new idea group. We have too many military leaders because we've just dropped below 24 power projection. Um, who are we rival to? Spain, but we have a truce with them. Who else are we rival to? Great Britain. We have a truce with them as well, I'm assuming. No, I don't think we do. So we go to Great Britain and insult them. There we go. No longer over the military leaders limit, or at least we shouldn't be. Um, new idea group. So, we are going to take a military idea. Probably either defensive or offensive. Land leader shock, recruitment time, land leader fire, prestige from land battles, siege ability, which is always really nice. 
Land Force Limit Modifier and Extra Discipline versus Yearly Army Tradition, Morale of Armies, Land Leader Maneuver. Well, Austria has a lot of morale. I think going defensive is probably better for us. Then we're going to go defensive ideas. I've always liked defensive ideas. It is one of my favourite. We can instantly pick up Yearly Army Tradition. So let's go and do that. That'll help us out quite a bit. Forming up more ships here. These heavies need to be mothballed because it'll save us money. These guys need to be put on the ships and the ships need to bring them back over. Bring them all up to Trevisio. What do we like on our force limit? We're still a little bit under, not massively. If we go ahead and just find our um, trade fleet here, we can also add... We'll add a few more lights. I don't want to start adding loads. I, I do want to save up and improve my... Um, my forts. They definitely need doing. We should be making a fair bit of money now. In fact, what we could do, something I don't do very often because I do keep getting attacked by the Ottomans, but we can afford to lower maintenance a little bit. That'll be fine. One thing I was going to do was just have a quick look at things like marketplaces. Do we have them anywhere? Are there any provinces we could build one in that would give us a significant boost? And there are a few. There are a few that we could do. 1.35 down there in Constantinople. That would be in the Constantinople node. And we could get another one here. I think we should definitely go and grab that one. Uh, we can't quite afford to grab this one. But on the next monthly tick, we should be able to. So that'll be quite good. And we also need to have a look where we can build some uh, barracks and things like that as well. So we need 93 ducats. Still a little bit too short. Should get that on the next month. And these guys have arrived home. Along with the ships. We don't mothball those ships generally. It's just transports and the galleys. There we go. That was the wrong button. Because I wanted to build a marketplace there. Temples. Anywhere we could build. I know we're out of money, but I'm just actually checking to see if there are any decent provinces that where that would benefit from a temple. Um, looks like Constantinople would, potentially. What would Constantinople give us? I can't see the number because it's hidden behind stuff. Um, can't quite find out. What about uh, barracks? Barracks would give us... We can still get another 500 down there. And we have a call to arms. Fantastic. So, requesting that we come to the aid with the Commonwealth Conquest against the Teutonic Order. The, they are allied with Munster, Savoy, and Alsace. Going to war with Savoy could be a little bit of a pain. Well, we're definitely going to go and want to put our army maintenance straight back up. I am, of course, going to accept... We fail our mission because we're not recovering our manpower. Um, don't really want to take any of those other missions right now. So let's have a quick look at this and see who is in. Yeah, so flipping pop-ups. Oh, free stability. Yep, sure. So the Commonwealth, Fazan and Venice versus Alsace, Munster and Savoy. Did have a mission to take... Um, Yep, Savoy's trying to come down here with a stack. I might, ju I might just come in and just pile on to Savoy and just go, Oi, Savoy, no. Oi, Savoy. Oi, Savoy, right. I'm just going to throw my entire army at them here. Um, lose a load of stuff for five Republican tradition. No, we'll just take that one. Go on, guys, have fun. We do unfortunately take a crossing penalty and we've got a terrain penalty, but we should manage to do it just on the numbers there. Uh, what do we want here? Missionary strength for increased technology cost for how long? Ten years. Or local unrest in Mantua. Oh, we just... It's only one province. Who cares? So this should pretty much wreck Savoy. What I could do here is, and what I should do here is, um, I can never remember where this is. It's on this screen, isn't it? 
if I claim these as provinces of uh, provinces of vital interest, um, then they may be given to me in the war if we do enough damage against. Um, if we do enough damage against Savoy, why is, why is there just a 3k stack there on its own? Answers on a postcard. Well, that hurt. Let's group you together. We go through there and reinforce. Should probably get the heavies of mothballed again. We can go down here and um, sort of blockade a little bit. We will reinforce that just in time. So we won that battle. Uh, can't actually get to Nice, which is unfortunate. Did I actually say yes? Didn't think I did. Let's go and sit in the mountains of Volus then. Let's move you into Navarra. Some more lights forming up. That's the transport fleet. Merge them up with the heavy fleet. The heavies aren't at 100%, but they don't need to be. We can move them into there. So this is probably just going to end up with me getting extra land and having to spend more admin points coring again. Do we still have that one for Volis? No, unfortunately not. Uh, we, we have taken Volis. Right. Um, oh, Commonwealth is here. They are attacking Savoy in the mountains. Good work. Well, let me just try and take as much from Savoy as possible then while their guys are being chased around by the Commonwealth. They might try and come in from behind me. I do have to keep my eye on that. Let's actually get you up there into the mountains. Yeah, he was about to attack me into the mountains and then he decided against it. Yeah, we don't want to attack into mountains wherever possible. I didn't want to do that either. I don't know why it just suddenly decided that that was what it should do, but it did. So you're going to go and sit down there and try and siege out Milan, are you? It's cute. Well, they are... It is farmlands, so we would potentially have the advantage here. So let's go in once again and do massive amounts of damage to their army. Have I still got my um, thing on war? No, but we can afford to do that. So let's go and put that onto war because we're at war. Gain a grand captain. Okay. Um, Commonwealth has peaced out with Alsace. That's fine. Doesn't really affect me any. Can no longer claim that Sophia is rightfully part of our realm. We should also remember that we need to keep fabricating against the um, Ottomans. Because I've been forgetting to do that. Fabricate claims. Let's go for... Um, well, actually, let's take coastal stuff. Atya. Wanted to take those in the last war, but never quite managed it. We are blockading down there quite nicely. They're set down there in Nice. Probably can't attack them because we're blocked by the fort here. France are now sieging out, though. No, they're not. We'll have 100% here very soon. The Commonwealth are actually marching straight in. They don't give two hoots. Let's go and start sieging that province then. Yep, oh, the Commonwealth are really um, just cleaning the floor here. I wonder if they will give me anything. Volis Navarra or um, Genoa. Genoa would be really nice, actually. But we'll have to see. They may not be willing to give me anything. Lose 2,000 manpower or lose 5 prestige. Uh, I'll lose the prestige. Trying to get my manpower back. It's hard enough as it is. You guys can move up here, I suppose. Oh, apparently those guys want wiping out. That's fine. I should move back there and take that. We've managed to take Savoy. 
Let's go and take Vo. We've nearly got 100% siege on uh, on Savoy. Yep, Commonwealth are just moving straight through, so they're not interested in sieging it out. Nearly got 100% down here. Oh, of course, there is Corsica, of course. Corsica, of course. Uh, 60 military power, and Austria's opinion of us goes up or gain to mercantilism. Mercantilism, every single time, without question. Mercantilism is just too good, especially when you are playing as a, um, a trading nation. A merchant republic, because our mercantilism is currently at 46%, which is great. Uh, let's pause up here. Um, the Commonwealth is pieced out with Savoy. Savoy will be forced to give the Commonwealth war reps. Will last for 10 years. Savoy will pay ducats. Venice will get some money. Inflation, blah, 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 blah. So, basically, we got nothing out of that except some attrition and a truce. Right, okay, fine. Let's bring everybody home. Let's bring boats home. You can go and protect trade in Constantinople. A little bit unfortunate. Would have been nice if we could have done that. Fill our coffers. Gain 2,000. We could probably do that. Let's take it. Do we want to keep our current guy or get a better one? Current guy is 51, which is not terrible but it's not great either i think we'll get another one we've also lost an advisor we want to get the Ooh, what do we want to get let's go for the inflation reduction for a while we'll just go for a level two guy we we have caught up or at least last time i checked uh we we are sort of 10 years ahead on all of our techs now even despite the fact that we've done a lot of coring. Uh, let's split these guys up so they're not just getting all the attrition that there ever existed. So we've still got some potential provincial unrest. It's just in Cairo. Why does Cairo have so much unrest? Was there a rebellion or something down there? Oh, it's being converted. Are you actually converting it at all? 1.4. That is so slow. Um, estimated by August 4th. 1576. It's going to take you another three years. Sunni Zealots could fire down there. But we shall definitely try and get it. We could always ship some guys down there. Uh, let us go and break off the heavies. Mothball the heavies. Take the rest of the fleet and we'll just put them in Lyca just so I know where they are. So things aren't going too bad. Um, local trade power plus two. Yeah, we'll keep going for it. Keep trying to get the, um, well, actually, the traders aren't really gaining. I don't know, the traders, traders are gaining a little bit there. Keep trying to go for the, uh, for the traders. Let's also now make sure that we are focused back on trade and not war. That has now put us on decent money. Let's reduce the army maintenance. We are trying to fill the coffers. It's worth doing that little mission, actually, because the reward for it is uh, losing inflation instantly and gain 10 prestige. So that's quite nice. And then we can go ahead and just sort of mass upgrade a lot of our um, forts. Uh, none of my diplomats are doing anything. So let us go and fabricate claims on Morea. Any more claims that we can get on Naples? Yep. Any more claims that we can get on Tuscany? Yep, we've gone for that one. We've gone for Umbria. Let's go. We can't get Sienna because it's not next to us. Luca, we could get. So let's go start working on that. Um, how are Fazan doing with their cause? They have... Um, they've called that. They've called that. Did they already have um, Tatooine? They've called that. That is called. So they're just working on Tunis at the moment, I think. Well, they're not. They probably don't have enough admin points to core it, but they should be able to core it because it does share a sea zone. You're allied with the Ottomans. Not, we don't have an easy way of going to war with them anymore now we took these guys out, which is a little bit of a shame. Hopefully it will help these guys grow stronger. They still only seem to have um, two units, two two regiments. It's terrible. 
why are you so bad? Uh, again, we've lost a little bit of our... Um, we should insult somebody. Uh, we could insult the Ottomans. Uh, send an insult. We've already got insulted rival, haven't we? So, insulted rival plus two. Yeah, so slightly over our leaders. One of them will probably die soon anyway. Some free admin points. There we go. So that that's 25 months of uh, being over the limit without it really making any difference to us. Those Sunni zealots don't look like they're making an awful lot of progress. Revolt will be in about 16 years. Well, in three years, we will have finished the um, the conversion anyway. So that's not too bad. Oh, Fazan do have some more troops, but they're stuck here on Corsica. Don't know why they haven't picked them up yet. They do have some transports in the area. They just don't seem to be doing anything with them. It's a, it's a shame that the Commonwealth didn't give us anything there. That is unfortunate. Now, if we were to go to war with Tuscany, um, Commonwealth would actually come in. Fortunately, Muscovy would come in on the other side, and I, I'm aware that I'd be breaking a truce. I'm literally just checking who would join. Um, France wouldn't come in because... Um, they're fighting in another war. If they weren't fighting in another war, they might actually do it. Um, Austria might be almost willing to do it as well. Cool. Um, what about if we were to declare war on Naples? And again, I know we we have a truce. I actually got Mecklenburg, Cleves, and Hamburg, but no one would come in to help us. We might be able to take some stuff um, from Tuscany in the future. We might actually have a chance of doing that. What about Hungary? Hungary are allied with Pomerania, Trier, Portugal, and Muscovy. I don't like that. They're now um, allied to Muscovy. That makes life a little bit difficult. Are the Ottomans still allied to Muscovy as well? No, they're not. Uh, Tunis, Crimea, and Nuremberg. Yeah, the Ottomans are now going to be really, really weak. They may well... St oh, the Ottomans have just declared war on Hungary. Interesting. Um, Hungary want military access. Not a chance. Um, do you know what? We'll just take the local autonomy in Cairo just until we get rid of that missionary. That's all I'm bothered about. So if the Ottomans are actually going to war with um, Hungary... And Hungary's also a defender against Sweden in the Swedish conquest of Karelia. We might be able to uh, sneak a war against Hungary. I don't really need anything from Hungary. But some of these provinces have got okay-ish development that we could take from them. And sort of eat our way over towards the uh, Black Sea here. Truce with Morocco has ended. I think we're doing quite well, though. We're expanding nicely. We have a decent amount of land. But I think that is a good point to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as Venice. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.